music, go listen to podcasts like this. Mm. Like literally the one one advice I can give you guys is like you can listen to about one to three hours of content before you kind of your eyes start glazing over. Listen to something fun for like 30 minutes and then you can li- like it's a hack. You can go listen to something fun you want to listen to for 30 minutes, music or whatever, and then go back. You can listen for another three hours. I this is how I was able to like literally listen to podcasts for about like nine to ten hours every day. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest with y'all. I think listening to music outside of the gym is absolutely retarded. Yeah. It, it's a big waste of time. And I know some of you guys are like, whoa, what are you talking about, Barry? No, that's all messed up. Realistically speaking, anytime that you guys aren't like actively working or doing something and you're listening to something, maybe you're driving somewhere, traveling somewhere, you should be listening to some kind of content that's going to make you smarter and higher IQ. Like you shouldn't be listening. That's why I don't read fiction. I don't watch movies really like that. Right. Um, if I do, it's going to be um, what a girl. It's going to be well that, or <laughs> it's going to be a true story, so that like I, I'm able to. I, honestly, a lot of the stuff I watch is like true crime or whatever, so that I can have that knowledge for the channel later on. Documentaries so and stuff. Everything, yeah. yeah. So everything that I watch, guys, is nonfiction. Um, or I'm listening to a podcast on making money, et cetera, or listening to an audio book. That's what Josh should be doing. You shouldn't be listening to music unless you're in a gym. But it's funny, the hack you mentioned earlier, guess who does it a lot? Who? Truck drivers. Yep. Yeah. All the time on the road. Dude, exactly. Do truck drivers, do truck drivers make some bank? And they're some of the best investors in crypto, man, because these guys can really research down. Dude, I, I got so much respect for truckers, dude. This, yeah. this country would fail without truckers. 100%. Yeah. Dude, and truckers these bimbos don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you drive truck? Oh, yeah. you must be broke. Yeah. Oh, you're a plumber? Yeah. Plumbers make bank. Electricians make bank. Dude, that whole it's crazy, yeah. bro. Like girls will come in and have like some dumbass like career like in corporate like, where they're like a secretary or something and they'll think their job is more important than I'm like, a paralegal a or, or someone that does bricklaying or someone that does yeah. construction or truck drivers, etc. All these infrastructure jobs that I always talk about, women think that their dumbass job right. in corporate is more important than that. And I'm like, this is why I say honestly, like Women don't contribute to society that much. Right. I'm just gonna say it. Fuck. I yes, work for a lawyer. I work important. dumbass, useless jobs. Ninety nine percent of the time. Marilyn, yeah. you have to respect me. I went to Debray. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, yeah, of course you're gonna have a few that are doctors and lawyers, etc. But mo- most women elect to do dumbass, like clerical right. jobs that yeah. don't really support anything. Yeah. yeah. And for, for those types of guys who basically are like, I want to take in some knowledge, and I'm kind of new to crypto as well as investing and stuff. One of the books that I highly recommend to, to kind of get people in the right mindset so they don't overspend essentially because a lot of people sometimes when they start making money we were talking about this a little yeah, bit earlier yeah, yeah. right they start overspending the book um called the millionaire next door uh, right yeah, yeah. it's a little bit older right but if you kind of understand what the numbers are after inflation kind of adjusted for inflation for where you would be now you can get a really good understanding and i think a lot of people will kind of see themselves in that book and be like okay yeah. which one am i which one am i am i the person who's more apt to basically save long term and able to make millions and millions of dollars and a lot of people won't know it because i've done it my due diligence over a long period of time or am i the type of person you know who's more like a sports player gets a lot of money quick spends it very quick tries to yolo out and then loses it all right, right. so mm-hmm. that book will really help you to kind of change that or at least recognize uh, and one advice are. we give guys when they start making money hold the money in the bank there for a while and get used to the money too many people as soon as they get the money they start, they, they start like fucking off with it, right. going to clubs, buying, you know, buying jewelry, doing all this dumb stuff. It's okay to do that once you've got. What gotten, you trying to say, man? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't hey, know you're there, bro. Hey, yo, hey man, there in the corner. <laughs> no, but but it's like getting, it's it's getting used to the money. For like I literally, like I for a lot of these guys, we we told some of our guys in the 2017 market and the 2019 market and stuff to just hold on to the cash for a while. Get used to the money because some guys made a lot of money in 2017. A lot of guys made money in 2021, 2020, and early 22, and it's just. Holding money there for a while for a good year, get used to spending because what will happen is you'll have lifestyle inflation. Yeah. yeah. And this will kill you because then you, you go from like, I used to spend 4000 a month to live, and then you start spending 18, 22, 25,000 a month. Yeah. It's just oh, creep crazy. and creep. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. I did it. Trust me. <laughs> Guys, don't, don't do it, man. Don't <laughs> well, do it. Well, what did you, because you, you sold a bunch of stuff. Well, what do you, would you, uh, yeah, what so, kind of advice can you give oh, to you the people? Yourself. I cool. brought up earlier to, to my group, I was just yeah. saying in a nutshell that I bought a lot of stuff for marketing purposes as well. Right. right. Exactly. And right. obviously, yes. you know, I won that experience. But in the long term, uh, you want you don't want to keep it forever. You yeah. want to get rid of it. So I sold my uh, bunch of my jewelry, you know, the big Cuban, you know, the fresh uh, pendant. I sold one of my uh, AP watches, the iced out, sold a bracelet, and I sold the SVJ. Nice. Yeah. yeah, if you have so, a strategy, you can make a lot of money. But the money I was spending on that, or I spent, I got mo- some of it back, majority of it back, yeah. but not all of it. Mm. But at the same time, I'm now more liquid because my money's coming in. Right. I can keep. But you had a plan at least because most people yeah. don't even have a brand. They're they're just like stunning the club and nobodies for what? Uh, yes, yeah. just just for just what? Yeah, yeah. Because because you, you need a I mean, you guys have a big. I mean, it just totally makes sense because you do have to. You, there there has to be some business spending to, to you know, for marketing purposes. But now yeah. what am I doing? 
buying crypto, buying crypto gold, yeah. guns, and bullets. Boom. Sheesh. There you go. Man. There you go. Yeah. Uh, all right. We got uh, Money Mindset goes, uh, which one would you recommend getting into if you could choose, crypto or real estate? Um,